Hey everybody, I'm gonna do this video for the people like me who have screwed up some things and have spent countless hours trying to figure out how to correct it. So on my Live In Lo-Fi, I keep writing over the kick drum and it's so frustrating, it happened twice already because when you're in the sampler, for some reason, if you touch some other things, it just defaults back to the first sound. So anyway, I just wanna show you real quick how, to, how I've discovered how to go in and out and then back up sounds from here and bring sounds back in. So let's start with bringing the sound that you lost back in. So I'm gonna go right here, this says Re, it's my voice. Okay, so I did that earlier. And now I'm gonna take a different bank. I'm gonna go to user one and go to 15, because it's empty. See, there's nothing here. Now I'm going to hit this little button, select and sample. Then I'm gonna go into edit mode. Now it says edit. Now it's set to receive. So now I'm gonna go over to here. I'm gonna go to, um, let's see, I'm gonna go to, the flute here, okay? And, and I'm gonna open it with SysX Librarian. Ah, okay. Now it's going to be there. Okay, so say I, you know, somehow I went over this and I really wanted this back, this flute, that was the, actually the one that I screwed up the kick drum with. So there it is. Now I'm going to hit play. And now it's going to send this flute back to here in a new spot. And if I had, you know, screwed up and wanted to put it back where it was, I guess I could. But this should work. And now at least I will have the procedure on video in case I screw up. Because when you actually save it to the computer, it's different. It, it shows like the thing, the dots moving. Here, you don't really know that it's happening even though it looks like you think it should. So it's a little convoluted, but I think, you know, once it happens a few times, then you get to become an expert. Like me, I've screwed up enough that now I think I've got it. By George, I think I've got it. So right here, it's still doing its thing. And hopefully very soon, instead of S, whatever this is, six, one five, oh, I don't remember what the numbers are. Hopefully it'll say like the flute name, like HS E minor, High Spirits E minor. And that is this flute right here. Um, I believe I just did the lowest note, which I can't play for you now because you need more than one hand. I could play this note. So hopefully you'll hear the lowest note, which I believe is E minor, might not be. I don't know how these flutes work. I just know it sounds good. Okay, so I was using this to sample with, which is working out kind of really well, actually, uh, if I want to use it from um, an internal, like here, I can plug it in, or I can use the microphone and, and plug it in. You need to just do line in from there, and this will work. So it's really kind of cool. Actually, you can just go right from a synth to a line in. You could bypass this. But I did this for two reasons, because once I use it, then I can actually record onto my iPad after I got after I have my samples. Okay, so this is done. Let's see if it worked. And there it is, HSE minor. <laughs> All right, so now we know how to do that. Next video will be how to save your samples that you make. This is a live in Lo-Fi 12, of course. Hey everybody, in the last video I showed you how to uh, get back a sound or actually import a sample into the live in. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this sound that we imported in, which was the High Spirits E minor, and we're going to back it up and we're gonna use MIDI uh, it's called SysX Librarian. This is for a Mac. So the way you do that now is you, it's a little different. You find the sound you want, which I have. Okay, let me select. So here's the sound. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, I didn't save that one. So I'll just go to the one I have saved. So here's the sound. 
-hmm. Don't forget, after you put it back into the um, live, and you have to hit save twice. So I didn't do that, so it didn't save it. But I had it saved from when I first sampled it in, which is here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you have it. You go into select sample. You go into edit. But this time, instead of just waiting for something to happen, <laughs> for the MIDI to come in, you want the MIDI to go out. So now you have to hit export. And now SysX comes up here. Now you're going to hit record many. I made that mistake and it wasn't working. I didn't get it. I wasted a lot of time saving nothing. So now it's waiting for the message. So over here, you go and hit OK, which is kind of weird. Save, which is not really saving here, but it's actually going to transmit. So now you see the light go. See that? And then you see the light over here. OK. And it's working. And I'm not going to sit here while it transfers back because suffice it to say, once you see that, it's working. And then you can actually save the sound. Um, I'm going to actually stop it, see how it's going. Well, let's, let's let it go so you can see where it says done. So it's not that much longer. All right, this way we'll have it down how to import the sound that you want to import a sample and how to export the sample. All right, so it says done. The other one doesn't say done, but that's okay. We know it works because it shows it on the machine. So then you just hit done here. Now it says untitled Sonicware, okay? I had already saved it here, see? So if you want, you go up here to file, you hit um, change name, and then you can change the name, and then you can go here and hit, whoops, go back here. Highlight it once the name is changed and then hit save as sysx. And that's all I did. And then that's how I, you know, was able to input it back in. I just, you saw how I opened it. I just saved it over here. I don't know if you could see them. Here's the sysx kalimba. And here's the flute right here. And I just right clicked and open with, and I opened with the librarian. So you can import and export to your heart's desire. And now I have it on film. Ha, I'm old school. I have it on this tape, film, what is this? Digital. But at least it's here for us to learn from. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Did it over the thing again. No, clear, clear, clear. <laughs> I went over the kick drum again. No, cancel. I bet you I did it. again now I have to go back into sysx it's weird how it does that it doesn't it jumped from the user where I had it now I gotta attach it back to my computer again ah! but I can move that to a free spot I figured out how to do that too